Welcome to Terminal Tuesdays. Today we're going to be looking at how to uh, mirror a website. This is just a quick tip. There's a lot of other features to this, but let's say I just want to make a backup of this website, filmsbychris.com. Well, let me grab the uh, URL here and I'll open up a terminal. And all I have to do is type in wget, which I think every distro has installed by default. Um, and all you have to do is do dash M for mirror and then give it the link of the address you want to, or the site you want to mirror. And, um, well, before I do that, let me show you real quick here. I'll list out, there's nothing in the folder I currently am in. So wget dash M, the site you want to mirror, and it will start downloading, um, basically the entire page, all the sublinks, um, all the images, um, pretty much everything uh, it will go on and on. Now there are other options in here as you can see this one stopped uh, pretty fast if we list out you can see there is now a folder in here called Films by Chris. Let me go into that and we can list out and you can see it downloaded all the sub pages that were on that page that weren't external links. So as long as they uh, were links uh, of sub uh, uh, either directories uh, like such as this one for images or files such as index or PHP, I'm sorry, HTML or PHP, it will back them up. And if we move into our images folder, we can list out and you can see the images that it downloaded. And actually if we, um, let's open up our file browser and I'll go to this folder that I am working in. And you can see, like I said, it made a folder called filmsbychris.com. It does that automatically based on the uh, URL that you give. If I come in here, you can see all the PHP uh, um, files. And if I was to open up this index file in a web browser, you can see right here we're working off the local directory. Um, and it looks just like my regular page. I can click on one of these links here. And, uh, well, it tries to open up that file since it's a PHP file. Um, if I had that in my web directory and I was running as a web uh, server, it would try to run that. Otherwise, it's going to try to download it. So that's one difference between running it locally and running it on a server. Um, once again, if I had Apache up and running and I put this in the proper directories and linked to it properly, those links would work. Um, but that's it. Uh, as I said, there's many other options. You can choose, you know, not to mirror images and how many subdirectories down it will go. But this was just a quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Terminal Tuesdays. Uh, and um, I hope that you have a great day.